There we go. Do I have chocolate in my teeth? <laughs> We're live! I'm supposed to look at my teeth. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm assuming I don't have food in my teeth because he said nothing. I said no. You said hi, everybody. Well, that's because I was saying hi to everybody. Oh, hi, everybody. We're live. <laughs> we have zero live viewers to see the food. Yeah, time. it's true. But people will come on and then they'll watch the replay and they'll be like, and they'll say, what? That's weird. Do I so, have welcome, food everybody. Too? Yeah, I think I'm fine. You can't really tell from there. Okay. So, this is the part of the live where I go through and share. The link to this to a whole bunch of different places, <laughs> and I also burnt. So welcome to. But Christmas. it was delicious. We'll talk about this later. But we've got Christie's recipe that we just Hi, we just tried on our uh, Instagram on an Instagram live. live. So if you want to see a fail, go there. I it wasn't there. so much a fail as it, it was, was delicious, a, but it just it didn't work out. Absolutely exactly delicious. Too. Okay, right. so while you're sharing to all the places. Uh, for anybody that's new here, I'm Miriam. This is Chris. We're owners Hi. and operators of Keto Chow. And it's a meal replacement shake made nutritionally complete so that you can get all of the nutrients you need for a third of your daily caloric intake. Um, yeah, that's us. Uh, hi, Carla. Hi, Lori. And it's very hot in South Arkansas. Sorry about that. It's actually really lovely here. I don't have new nails till next week, so they're the same. What the crap? Last week. Dang. I am gonna get my hair done tomorrow, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Rachel. Hi, girl. That was Rachel? Yes. She said, what's up, family? Cool. So, um, even though I apparently, like, totally failed at uh, making chaffles, they're so easy, Rachel can do them. Yeah. I even watched a video. Well, you know what? I kind of want to keep <laughs> eating the one that's over on the counter because it reminds me of grilled cheese sandwiches, and that was like delicious. It, it was I went, insanely you know, good. I love grilled cheese sandwiches, and I like the grilled cheese sandwiches that we make now that are the um, Fox Hills Kitchen bread. But for some reason, that tasted maybe because like you can get the little crispy cheese stuff. Hi, Christine. Um, so that was probably yeah. what it was that I was thinking was delicious. You're right. Yeah. So you're sharing. I'm, I'm talking. I'm sharing. I'm Had a good day thing. today. It was really productive. We interviewed uh, somebody for Keto Chow. Let's see what else happened. Oh, the same thing that happens every Tuesday. We went and got wings. <laughs> we don't, it doesn't happen every Tuesday. Okay. Most every Tuesday if I can help it. Um, oh, Paula said, uh, we just had our keto meetup. It was a recap of Keto Fest. They brought us some super cute fasting drop samples. Yes! Nice. That's so awesome. I'm so glad you had a successful meetup. That's the best. We love our meetups. They're way fun. Uh, Lori said my first chaffle attempt was an epic fail. Uh, well, we got a good recipe. And so it Wait. wasn't super eggy, which is funny because we make waffles with just eggs, keto chow, and cream cheese. And they're eggy, but I like it because I yeah. want it to taste like that. Hey, Christy, that's the recipe, Christy Davis. Yeah. Says. And she actually posted that, I think, to the Facebook support group. She posted page. to a couple of different places. Yeah, so if you want to find it. Oh, I've got the link. Okay, we'll get Christy, to it in a well, bit. Well, we're apparently going to get even though it's not on the paper. It's on the paper right there. Even though I'm skipping that part. Just it's kidding. at the end. It's we're going to get to that end. later. Whatever. Um, yeah. But, Let's uh... See. So yeah, we got wings today for lunch. It was really funny though, the waitress, she's like, do you know how to use your blazing rewards? And I said, yeah, I do. And she said, because you've Cause got you a lot. <laughs> really a lot of points. You could get some lumps. I'm like, yeah, I know. She's like, like yeah. really a lot of points. Usually when people get up to a couple thousand, I ask them if they know how to use them. I'm like, yeah. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. She's like, okay. Because it would have paid for t your lunch today. I'm like, oh, actually, that didn't work. Yeah, we thought about <laughs> that. We took uh, our twins to lunch because they work for it's us. True. Our 17-year-olds. They so think they that if you go us, to lunch with mom and dad, that we have to pay. That we're just going to pay. Well, we will pay. It's fine. 
We're happy yeah. to take them to lunch. I'm gonna miss them when they go to school next week. Sad. Yeah. Hi, Tara. And Sabrina, her first shuffle was very messy because she overfilled the waffle maker. Oh, that also I happened. totally did that. It yeah. was so bad. It's because you don't <laughs> think about the eggs expanding, and so you fill it up like you normally would, and well, it just goes. Like, I thought know. about it. I just wanted to use up the rest of it. Yeah, because so. it was like, hey, legs. I uh, sure see somebody's legs oh, walking that way. Hey, my legs, legs would be. Bleach. I'm like, there's somebody on the live whose name is Legs. My legs. You know That's what? Weird. To tell you something, Chris, you maybe don't know this about me. They called me Legs in elementary school. Oh, you told me that because yeah. you were really tall. Because I was really tall and skinny. Yeah. I was tall and skinny. Yeah, I was taller much. than you. <laughs> this is Haley. Put your face in here. Okay. Okay. Mom, hey. So, let's see. And you swig, that's just water. <laughs> By the way, Amanda. She had to ask. Hi, Amanda. There's waffle. That's the, yeah. that's, oh. waffles. That's the chaffle. Have you tasted it yet? It's waffle. It's not a regular so waffle. So, it's, um, it's a savory. It's like salty. It has, it has tomato, basil, keto uh, chow in it. I question this chaffle. It's, it's really good. If you're not going to eat it, I'm going to eat it. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll no, try it. You can't use your hand. I don't have it. No, no. It's like... A grilled cheese sandwich that's in a waffle. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. The hey, problem hey. is I made I made this with like a big waffle maker. Hi Amanda. Hi Lisa. And you need the little one. So I oh, think, it's so good. I think it would be fine. We just have to figure out how much to put in. Yeah. It tastes delicious. I'd put it in for like a little bit more because I like it a little crispier. So what Christy does is she uh, throws them in the air fryer afterwards. Oh yeah, with cheese on top, yeah. which you, we could throw in the oven because we have, you know, twice seven children, so we might as well do that. I thought we needed to use scientific notation to denote the number of children we have. No, 27 is good. <laughs> Shane says, wait, there's 17 though? Of course you pay for their lunch. Well, we they've think, got jobs. We think they should pay for our lunch. <laughs> yeah. Amanda says, I think I'm going to do a keto chow giveaway at the mini maker. I think it's wise. That's a good idea. I know I need okay. to play with it. Okay. Hey, I'm ready to engage. Here we good go. Good job. Congratulations. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. <laughs> so, flavor of the week this week is. Peanut butter! Chocolate peanut, peanut butter! Chocolate peanut butter! Yep. Do we have samples of chocolate peanut butter? No, we do not. Why not? Hey, here's a person. Because we hate and <laughs> No. <laughs> it's uh, we safe don't... and waffle. You can taste it. Yeah, it tastes like uh, tomato. Our kids like are cheesy all appearing tomato. wondering about the waffle. Yeah, what's up with the waffle? If, okay, okay, there's two more. Mm -hmm. How many kids are missing? One, two. Audrey? Just one more kid what that has to come and ask about... Oh, the two more kids have to <laughs> ask about the waffle. Mom, you're <laughs> blue. Yeah. Shane says, they have as much keto chow as they want at home. Have them eat that. They do. Yeah, they do that too. <laughs> Sometimes they, occasionally, they even help me make some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, occasionally. Every once in a while. On Sunday, nobody helped me. I did it myself. Not that I'm bitter. Everybody was watching I the importance some. of being earnest, which is hilarious. I was watching it because you yes. turned it on for me. I did turn it so on So I could you. watch it. And Audrey enjoyed watching it, even though she thought that she wasn't going to. The importance of being earnest. I'm willing to watch it again. Um, anyway, the newer version, the one with uh, Rupert. She just ordered tw name? 12 dashes for giveaways. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what's, a, what's a dash? It's the Willow Waffle Maker. I need a link for that. I told her to get me an Amazon affiliate link so that I could order it using hers. And oh. I gave her the information on how to do the Amazon site strip. So she's working on that. Okay, but so her husband is doing, I mean, her husband. Her son is doing uh, Japanese homework right now, so she can't use the PC. What the heck? So, Hi, Shari. okay, back to the thing at hand. Chocolate peanut butter is on yeah, sale. Shari, Seriously? Dash is the mini waffle maker. Yeah, we're, that's, that's further on. Well, Let's stop talking about there. it. It's right there. <laughs> okay, fine. Chocolate peanut butter is all I ordered. I ordered yes. it last time, and it was on sale. Chocolate peanut butter. It's the chocolate, regular chocolate. With peanut flour in it. With high fat peanut flour in it. There's a fly in here. There is a fly in here. Everybody keeps on leaving the doors open. Oh, so I said fly. that it's ten dollars on Amazon and Target. And Target. Why don't we just talk about it now? You're gonna die. Fine. <laughs> we'll talk about it now. We're Let me get the link. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got we're gonna talk about the chaffles now that we've already talked about the chaffles. Okay, yeah. so give me the recipe. Here's the recipe. Thanks. 
Okay, so Christy did two tablespoons almond flour, one tablespoon quinoa chow tomato, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon minced garlic, two eggs, one handful of jack cheese. Yep. Stir really well, and then I add just a small amount of water to it, like a teaspoon. Pop it in the waffle iron, then add cheese and toast it in the air fryer. And we did add a little bit of waffle or water. We did add some water to it after we realized it was not thin enough. And a handful of jack cheese is subject to your opinion of handfuls. Yeah. I'm guessing Christy, Chris's handful when you is make bigger. a recipe, you tell us how many grams. A are pinch, in. a dash, <laughs> you know, whatever you feel like. Yeah, and and she she said in the post later on that so there's the, in the picture there's only it's two. It's probably like a cup of cheese. Yeah, but in the picture there's two chaffles. It made four. Her husband ate two of them before he could even before she could even get a picture. Oh, oh, Joseph Stoffer. There you go. The Amazon link for us. There's an Amazon link for you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to get one in my stocking for Christmas or maybe next week for my birthday. I mean, in a couple of weeks, actually. You told me to get you the big waffle maker. I would like one of those also. Apparently, Miriam's getting all the waffle makers in the whole world. <laughs> I want my little waffle iron and my big waffle iron. I can eat it. As long as you don't sing Baby Shark. <laughs> I went to this choir concert. High school choir concert. High school <laughs> choir concert. Uh, with I was multiple. In it. Yeah, this oh, one I was, was in it. it. It was multiple like magicals, the higher up choirs, and one of the high schools decided to perform Baby Shark. It was actually pretty cool. There was harmonies. If and you stuff. like Baby Shark. It was cool. Mm. It was weird, Mom. It was weird. It was cool. Weird. It was, it was fun. fun. Audrey's song was better. Huh? It was, it I don't have grandchildren or two-year-olds, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Anyhow, She's so gonna go with me to yeah, there. We're keep on getting our, letting ourselves get distracted. So anyway, um, Christie's um, <laughs> recipe. So she she posted it in the Keto Chef Facebook support group. Yes. She posted it. To, there's a new Facebook group called Chaffle House. Which is funny because that's is, kind of funny. Yeah, and it's it's a it group. Yet. It's a group just about exchanging chaffle recipes. Um, it's right now the the pinned post at the very top, and it's it's a savory chaffle made with tomato basil keto chow. And we just made some. We did an Instagram live just before this. And completely failed at a bunch of it, I missed but it. it turned out so the the execution was awful. The result was fantastic. Um, I just sat there and, and ate it and ate it and ate it. And all our <laughs> kids were wondering about it. There's just yep. a waffle sitting on. Yeah, the ground. random waffle. That's like that's like twenty bucks. You know, it's just like what? There's money. Why is there, why is there money? What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, it's I a waffle. It. Yeah. Just, just. But then you it. eat it, and the it's like the first person that would eat it. I think they were just being polite. They're like, "This waffle's here. Is that your dinner? Can I eat it? If you're not gonna eat it." Mm -hmm. Well, it's got a whole bunch of garlic in it. It's got tomato. Put more it's got even. all sorts of stuff. Oh, Kathy said the group is addictive. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's see. Well, I, I should get the uh, the link to Chaffle House. Are they people nice there? I like um, it when people are nice. When you join. They ask you if you're going to sell stuff. You have to agree that you are not going to, that it's basically like there's no keto police, all this other stuff. It's, they've got familiar. a really good, good um, set of rules. Um, it's really, really quite fun. Ooh, Amanda says she added bacon and sausage to her chaffle and a sandwich to an egg and cheese. It was amazing. See, if we made those little, top, like the little ones, right? They'd be like, what, what, what is the word? I can't think of this. Well, they're like Barbie. buns. I know, but the word English muffin size, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so English muffin would be like the perfect size for an egg sandwich. And that, okay, so potatoes and uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and egg sandwiches, those are the carby things that I miss the most. Which okay. egg sandwiches you can totally do. I just usually, you know, use Fox Hills, which is great. But I thought if we could get those little tiny ones that are the size of egg muffins, whatever they're called. Hmm. I already forgot what they're called again. English muffins. English muffins. And freeze them 
Then my kids can make egg sandwiches every day for breakfast all by themselves. And granted, they make other eggs and stuff, but it's nice to have a, it's nice to have an egg sandwich. Yep. Hi, Haley. Hi again. I have flip flops and shorts. I saw okay. some of what you have. There's your flip flops. Everybody wants to see your feet. <laughs> I think I might have posted the wrong link. Whoops. Go change it there, brother. Okie dokie. What else are we going to say about the safety chocolates? Just going to keep talking about. Uh, maybe it is the same group. Yeah, it's the same group. Totally the same group. Okay. All right. So now that we're back in the world. Yeah. Now that we've uh, back on track. Um, oh, and by the way, there's uh, the two cute crazy ketos. They did a great video uh, about making chaffles, and it's and uh, can you find it? Post. Yeah, I can. I can find it really quick. Okay. Um, it was. Uh, I've never tried it. That chaffles are so easy, even Rachel can make it. And <laughs> Joe put this graphic across the screen. Even, even Rachel, Rachel can, can make it. it. It's, it was I'm really sure funny. I'm sure she can make everything just fine. Why would anyone say that? Because I think it's self-deprecation and it's funny. funny. It's a funny. The keto chaffle. So easy, even Rachel can make it. <laughs> it's funny stuff. That's funny. So Fill it up with real salt. Hey Debbie. Hey, Debbie says hi. Okay, chocolate peanut butter's on sale again. In case you didn't hear it the first three <laughs> times we said it. Um, it is our second most popular flavor. We do not have samples of it available it's sad. because the fat in the peanut flour clogs the machine. We've been trying for a year and a half to get samples of it, and we just don't have. I don't think we'll ever get samples of it. We're still trying, but. Don't hold your breath. Oh well. So. Whatever. Yep. Um, Buy a big one, put it in a Ziploc bag. You can approximate, uh, this actually came up in the, the Keto Chow subreddit today. You can roughly figure out what it's like, uh, what, what the Keto Chow with chocolate peanut butter is like by just taking chocolate and adding peanut flour to it or PB2 or PB Fit. Um, those two have a bit more sugar. sugar in it, and they don't have as much fat or flavor, um, but... But they're still pretty good. Yeah, it's it's pretty close. Somebody was asking me what the most popular flavor yes, is. Yes, I'm getting Chocolate. that link right now. Chocolate is the most popular flavor. And we're not making any new flavors. We're not making any new flavors anytime soon. We're going to we, think about discontinuing flavors, actually. Well, before we introduce new flavors, we're probably going to discontinue old flavors that aren't doing quite so well. Um, I posted the the most recent update that I did of which flavors are the most popular. Um, they tend to change based on the season, season. of the year. Yeah. Right now, eggnog, pumpkin spice, not very popular. Why would that? I don't know, probably because it's not that season, Winter? but give it about a, a month and pumpkin spice caramel is going to be all the I've rich. been hearing lots of people talking about autumn. Yep, it's because it's coming up. Got to get your basic white girl on. Meh. Meh? Meh. <laughs> it looks like my face is out of focus. Is it my is, face it keeps focus? going in and out. Okay. I'm saying you got to scoot it back a little bit. We're too close. My face is so large. In the screen. Okay. I don't like those flavors. Yuck. <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, different people like different things. Like different things. If there's one thing I've learned is that there is no possible way to please everyone. No matter what we have, no matter what we do, there are going to be people who don't like some of the stuff we have. Who don't like chocolate. Who don't like vanilla. Our our electrolytes, which are literally sodium, potassium, magnesium, chloride, different things like that. It's just electrolytes, like literally the essentials of life in water. And we have people who don't like them. We have people who complain that it gives them stomach problems, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah. We we've, we've have people who says it makes them dizzy. We have, I mean, seriously, we have people who complain about the flavor. It's salty. Supposed to taste salty. So, Let's yeah, that's fine. Thing. That's fine. It's it's okay that people people have different tastes. 
and that's just fine. Okay? You don't have to like everything, but you better clear your plates or you're not leaving the table, young man. I mean, wait, no. <laughs> that's Sorry. how we got into this mess. In the that first is how place. we got into the place, this place in the first place. Nice. Uh, Carla says she already bought her first pumpkin spice coffee. Yay! <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, well, because this time of year, Starbucks has their pumpkin spice latte, and everybody goes nuts about it because it's pumpkin spice time. It's not this time of year. Well, it's, it's like getting close. Next month. Well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like how Christmas decorations come up. They they, they start coming out yeah. sooner and sooner every year. Um, so, yeah, you know. Well, we're getting long sleeve long pants and school shopping. That's true, although it's like 100 degrees here still, so. Yeah, and hotter enough. 100, 100 in the mountains. In the mountains. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. I'll say it. What? There are only eight discount early bird tickets left for Keto Salt Lake, if you want to come join us. Yeah. And in case you're wondering, Keto Chow is a sponsor of the Keto Salt Lake Conference. The conference itself is organized by Keto Conferences LLC, which is owned by Miriam and Chris Bear, but it's not affiliated with Keto Chow. We're they're just, just they're just friends. They're just really good friends. <laughs> so <laughs> Joe said the Hobby Lobby has Christmas stuff up. Are you serious? I want to go to Hobby Lobby. I love that place. Well, I know that there's uh, Halloween costumes up at uh, Sam's Club and Costco. Hey, we already have our Halloween costumes for this year. Oh, Are you gonna be sugar? And Sabrina says I don't need Starbucks anymore because I have. Pumpkin spice caramel keto chow and coffee. Yes. There you go. Oh, for um, our our costumes this yeah, year, we, we can were, totally be what we were last you year. You weren't paying attention. To no, me. I totally wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we already have our. We have our, our tickets. They were tailor made for us. Our tickets. Our costumes. I mean our costumes. Well, because Tara just says I got my <laughs> ticket. ticket. Anyway, so. Yes, Tara. Um, yeah, the the early bird tickets for Keto Salt Lake are just seventy five dollars. Um, then it'll go up to $100, which is still really inexpensive um, compared to a lot of the different keto conferences out there. Um, what you're getting versus how much it costs, we're really, really setting the bar low as far as uh, the yeah. cost goes. But it's really, we have really good speakers coming, and we, we just, do. the whole point of the conference is to get people to hear about keto. So. Heather will not stop until we say whether or not we're coming to Omaha. We've talked to them. We have. Uh, last night. Decision. Last night we were up until eleven freaking thirty o'clock. That was not entirely my fault. <laughs> oh, it wasn't your fault at all. Um, I got it into my head, and my brain wasn't going to turn off until so we. So we were looking and looking. Yeah, and we were looking at. I think we probably will. Yeah. Honestly, because I think we want to see you, Heather. Yep. That's why we're coming. So we can ask your children. Children, do you want to, to come watch to Omaha? The um, no. To Omaha, they're going to be in school. You're going to be in school. Yeah, it'll be. It'll not be conducive. Do you want to come in the video? No, I said we're going to ask your children to watch your children. Well, only if you're in the video can you ask questions. Yes. So Lisa says she doesn't know if anyone's talked about it yet, but Rebel has six new flavors. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes. Okay, they're. What are they? Going to have six new flavors. She actually talks about it. Uh, triple chocolate. Cherry chip, black raspberry, coconut almond swirl, cookies and cream, and salted caramel. She's almost in the frame. Okay, so Audrey wants to come in and be a teenager and say, are you going to ask the kids to watch the kids? It's and in January. We haven't even tonight, gotten there yet. I'm going to say, Audrey, will you watch the kids? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Perfect. Now we have it fine. If you don't want to watch them, there's another one of you. We got backup redundancy. They're free. They One buy one, get one free. <laughs> yeah. Now Omaha is in a long time. It's Do you in, want to roll your eyes so they can see your teenageness? It's in uh, mid-January. can't see my parents. Okay. <laughs> Try and for now. those of you Try who now. keep roll on your saying, roll your eyes. <laughs> Mom, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm having a moment with Audrey. Just chill for a second. Tell everybody, Mom, I don't want to watch the kids. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you know. Are you done? Are you good? I'm gonna go Okay, she's gonna go eat an egg. Yep. Okay. Walk past her. Okay. 
All right, so. <laughs> Ashley says I should have planned my child rearing better. Don't we all think we should have? I know. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, there's there are a whole bunch of different conferences that we could go to. I know, we want um, to go to them all. It but would be it's fun. simply not possible. And we just have our children that we love. Yeah. Obviously, you could tell I was trying to make a be teenager online. Yeah. So, we uh, we're probably going to go to um, Locar, well, the uh, Keto Summit in Omaha. In Omaha, yeah. Um, as anyway, we will. As some, Shane says Texas. We're going to be going, going to, to Locar Houston. We'll go to Houston this year, October. Yeah. We'll go to Locar uh, or. KetoCon. We'll go to KetoCon. We'll go to Keto Fest next year. Yep. We're going to Low Carb Denver. If they have a uh, Keto Low Carb KC, we'll go to that. But it's it's difficult to. Mm. Uh, Joseph keeps on saying Low Carb Boca. I don't know that we're going to make it to it's Boca so Raton. Isn't it close? What time? What day is it? Isn't it close? It's it's pretty close to some of the other ones we're going to. I think it's close to uh, Low Carb. I don't remember. It's so something. there, I've got this website called lowcarbevents.com, literally so I don't have to remember this. Yeah. Oh, KetoCon tickets went on sale today. Yeah, cool. Oh, awesome. We actually already signed up. Anyway, lowcarbevents.com. I added a new event today. Which was? Um, the Keto Evangelist coaches are doing a cruise with the coaches. Oh, that's cool. In the end of March, beginning of April of 2020. So cool. Like so, um, but Low Carb Kansas City was run by uh, Heather, Dr. Heather Cardin, and mm -hmm. I don't know if she's doing it. Yeah, uh, she has a, oh my gosh, what does she have? She had she a She has some pain serious uh, pain, like, disorder, and she actually got her leg amputated, and is just recovering from that, and so mm -hmm. usually they do it this time of year. September, October-ish, and they've done it the last, I think, three years, I think they've done it, and we went, that's where I met Adam Nally, that's where I met Nurse Cindy in the mm -hmm. first place, and it's actually um, part of, I mean, kind of what we based Keto Salt Lake off of is kind of how they did, ran their conference, we just really like the feeling there, they, ha they have a lot of locals, and we're kind of, we kind of were focusing on, on locals just so that we can have our people be with our people and if anybody else wants to come join us and we'd be happy to have you um, but anyway that's kind of where we based our conference off of yep. low carb KC so we love, we love yep. Heather Carden okay oh. so I don't know if they're gonna do one I think they'll probably skip this year and maybe do next year her husband's a chiropractor she's some kind of a doctor of her husband sorts. looks Exactly like Dr. Not Strange. Not exactly. Oh my gosh. Just, we just thought it was him the whole time. When he's smiling, doesn't look like Dr. So Strange. So we went over and I said, can I take a picture with you and send it to my kid? And then he'll be like, what, you hang out with Dr. Strange? Well then when he was smiling, he didn't look as much like him. Don't look at all so like my kids are like, who's that? I'm like, what? You don't know who that like, is? It's, it's freaking Dr. Strange. We <laughs> just so watched awesome. the movie too. Anyway, uh, Amanda says nice just, she just made a peanut butter chocolate keto chow ice cream Ooh. while y'all were talking. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, did we, you guys we had hear a that? lot. Of... The kids all went out and laughed. What? Anyway, uh, making I actually did a video this week of making keto chow and ice cream, and I Joseph thinks that Joseph Stoffer, Two Crazy Ketos, thinks that it's because um, he did a video, and I'll have to say yes, that's why. Everybody is like all crazy about it. Because his video or yeah. your video? His video. That's why they keep asking. About ice cream? Mm -hmm. About making keto chow and ice cream. Because he did a video about making keto chow and ice cream. Yeah, did he say not to freeze it because it gets hard? That's a rock. I don't know. Because I think people will think they can remember. eat it later and then it's hard. No, you have to eat it right away. I think I, we have eaten it later and it's still fine. We had. It, we, it, it, it had to sit on counter for a long time. It had to thaw for like 45 minutes. It was so. still delicious. Okay, so back on track. Um, so okay, one issue that people have. Oh, him, Rodney. Think Chris's video is so funny. It's so easy. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Yes, that's kind of how it was. It, was it took like, a long time. We had to be quiet. Okay, <laughs> I did do a. Oh, she's she's running away. Goodbye. Okay. 
Bye bye. Bye now. Okay, so um, when we did Keto Chow 2.1, so 2.1.0, the first round of bags that came out, we had a different company than we normally do, fixing my collar, make the bags for us. And they completely screwed up. Just put the wrong zipper in there. And so it was supposed to be a zipper that works with powder. Instead, they put a regular zipper. And um, our, the place that makes them, they would seal the top, but not seal the zipper. And so the zipper would get clogged up with powder. And so that first batch, you would, you would open it up, and then you would try to seal it, and it would not seal. Oh, People were like, your bags are stupid. I'm like, I agree. Um, but there, I actually made a video. Well, this isn't the bad one. This is the good one. I know. One. I'm just giving you a bag. Taco. I actually had this for uh, breakfast yesterday. It was really good. Um, so the trick, if you have a bag that won't seal, you open it up. Not this one. Chocolate. Yeah, this one has uh, the, the, the like zipper that's grippy that works with it. You just flick it. And the stuff comes out. Another or thing you could do? You take a toothpick and you run it through the thing. Get the and, powder. Yeah. I prefer to just flick it. I mean, we've never had problems with it. But oh, we have. It's been a while though. Well. But, so that's one thing you can do. So another thing is like if you're in a humid area, that's going to be a bigger problem. Like if ours come open, it doesn't matter because stuff dries out here. Yeah. And so back when know, we used to eat bread, if you left bread open, yeah, you couldn't leave bread or out. chips or anything open because then it would just get stale and dry. Um, but so if ours come open a little bit in the cupboard, we don't care that much. But if you want to, you can flick it and try to get it out of there. Uh, now lately, Miriam's been using these guys. I just got these brand new babies from Walmart. How many bags can you fit in those? One and a half. Okay. So and um, they're plastic. But I didn't want to get glass because I didn't want to have a head injury for my children. <laughs> because we put them up high, high in the cupboard. And so here's what it looks like. Ugh. This is a bag and a half of raspberry, raspberry cheesecake. cheesecake. And it's not a very cute label, I'm sorry, but um, some things have to have to get. So that's nice because you can put a full bag in there, and then it's, yeah. like, it's like half empty, you put another put bag, bag in, in there. Well, because we're always doing so many things with it, we have a lot more than maybe everybody else would. Yep. But it's funny how many people, oh, I don't want that to stab the sofa. Just kidding, there it is. I lost a, to a toothpick and I don't want Ooh. it to poke into my sofa. Okay. So. <laughs> yep. Shane said, rest in peace, shiny bags. So if you go way back in time. Oh yeah, those were shiny. Actually, the shiny bags were an upgrade. Originally, when we started shipping Keto Chow, okay, they weren't in shiny bags. <laughs> They're in Ziploc bags. Joseph wants to know, where did you get them? So those, Miriam got, she oh, went I to I got these Walmart. at Walmart. But you know what's funny? Because everybody else is using them, and I bet they're using for carbs. Pretzel, cereal, blah, 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 blah. They have like a lot of different sizes, and they kind of sit together on the tops. But I just got this 18.6 cup size and it's nice because it has the airtight lid so it like like suctions down but if you really want to get into it the reason we bought those is because when we were at keto con yeah. there was a booth that had a bunch of those and they're like we don't want these we're just going to throw them away do you guys want them we're like yeah sure yeah well so we i've been home. looking for them i've been looking for something that's skinny and tall because our cupboard is pretty tall because we have it as tall as a keto chow bag right so but I didn't want it to be like fat at the top. You know all those cereal containers, they're like fat at the top or no, fat Shane at the bottom. Shane likes fat ones. Well, and I even want something that you can hold on to. I want it to be something that's skinny enough you can hold on to, but tall enough that you can fit a half, a bag and a half of keto shell in it, or two bags. So I was looking for something super tall and skinny, um, but there are other ones. I just didn't want, I wanted to maximize the amount of keto chat I could put in my cupboard. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want something fat because I, I have, how many flavors do we have? 21 flavors? We have 21 flavors if you That's don't That's how count. many I have. Well, we don't have all the flavors right now. Um, one of our daughters has a problem with chocolate, oh, chocolate mint. chocolate mint. If there's so chocolate mint. So we just mint, keep that in a hidden cupboard? It's gone. Just kidding. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We do have a problem with chocolate mint. <laughs> Chocolate mint is delicious. Actually, and we haven't had chocolate toffee for a while either. Oh yeah, hey, Mike said he entered two recipes to the recipe. Oh yeah, I just saw those. Um, I think those looked really good. Uh, we had, let's talk about it for a second. We had like 20 or more It was quite a few. People, and they were, looked all really good. The pictures were really good. It'll be really fun. We're going to go to Canada this weekend to the Great Canadian. 22. Oh, 22. Uh, Great Canadian Keto Conference. Yep. And then when we get back, we're going to make up a bunch of those recipes and we're going to figure out the three that we like the most. And we're going to bring them to the Keto Meetup that's next Saturday. And everybody can taste them and we'll not tell the names on anybody, but we'll just say the name of the recipe and then what we'll judge is. and see who wins. Well, okay. we could probably do like a live or something. At something. 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 Nothing, honey. Or something <laughs> at the at the meetup. Yeah. Yep. And say who the winner is. And for those who don't know, if you happen to be in Utah, awesome. we run a keto meetup. Uh, we do it once a month on the third Saturday. We've been doing it for like two, two years, years now. Probably close to three now. No, it's, it's well. That's You're going to go look it up. I'm huh? actually going to look it up. Because that's important. So, but, and we did it because there were the only keto meetups that we have in Utah were, or in our local area, were run by multi-level marketing exogenous ketone companies that wanted to sell you stuff. And so I specifically, the meetup is not a sales meeting. Yeah. We don't push product. We want to sell you stuff, but we won't even talk about it. We just want to talk about keto. Or rather, we're, we will sell stuff if you insist. How if about If you that? want to, you can buy stuff. But honestly, we just want to share keto recipes and feel like we have a keto community because then we can sit and talk and enjoy each other's company and talk mm -hmm. about recipes and talk about stalls and talk about this and that and the other. And what do you do? And what do you do? And I want to try this. And... Yep. What size 15 shoe do you wear? I wear a 9. Actually, I wear a 10. In case you guys wanted to know, I am tall and I wear a size 10. Shoes. Not 15. Yep. That's for, like, basketball players. <laughs> okay. Chris also wears a size 10, but he wears men's size 10 and a half. Yep. Which I think is small. All of my brothers wear a size 13. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. They have to buy their shoes online. <laughs> Sad for them. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Man, I'm going back in time and okay, I think I I think I finally found the old. meet up. John, hey. Heather said all the best things in Keto are Utah based. You know what else is Utah based that I we need them to come to a meetup? Um, is the keto cookie. They have good cookies and they are in Utah. And we haven't had a bit of meetup yet. Keto cookie? Yeah, we should. Oh, we should. Okay, so um, I paid the $89 for six months on meetup.com to sponsor the, the meetup on August 3rd, 2017. Does it cost that much every time? Every six months, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I make keto chow pay it. What the what? It's under advertising. Shane, what size shoes do you wear? Oh, size 13 is the best. I buy my shoes online, <laughs> sad. Nice. Are they like really expensive? They've got to be. I was talking to my brother the other day when he was at, oh sorry, when he was at dinner. and He's like, yeah, my shoes aren't cheap. Mike says we should come out with our own brand of keto bars. I'd actually, so this is something that um, we People try to make sure. People have stuff like this before. We try to make sure we don't let ourselves get distracted by stuff that's outside of what we do really good. Um, doing the meetup is kind of, uh, it still works. Doing the Keto Salt Lake Conference is definitely letting ourselves getting this, get distracted, but it's it works fun. also. Um, but fun. coming out with products that are far outside of what we do, it's very easy to get distracted very very easy i am um, want to chase rabbits <laughs> mm -hmm. but so keto bars not going to do it i would actually rather point point people over to keto bars.com keto bars. yeah because john the guy who does keto bars i had a keto bar it's fantastic it was delicious um i had a keto bar today too it was you know why i had a keto bar why? today 
because I could smell the keto bar you ate today, and I said I have to have one of those. <laughs> so I did eat nice. it. Nice. Um, so, and with keto chow, one of one of our primary focuses is having something that's nutritionally complete. Um, a bar, it's a very it's nearly impossible to get like complete nutrition into that sort of a form factor. The closest I've seen is the keto brick, which if you want a keto oh, brick, yeah. just go get a keto brick. Yeah, they're good. Um, if you want keto chow, keto chow. We need um, to get some keto bricks for a food storage, I think. That would actually be a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Like a fantastic idea. The coconut one uh -huh. was amazing. So, uh, speaking of weird things, we're going to buy ourselves a headstone for Christmas. I just decided this. And keto bricks for ourselves for our food storage. <laughs> because we're thinking ahead. And are we going to put the headstone on our front lawn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to put our headstone in our burial plot. We do already own a burial plot. Yeah, because... And it's double-decker. It we is can, awesome. It's, we can stack two people. Because when we buried my mom, we were really grateful that she already had one. And so then... No, not a headstone. Or a burial plot. A burial plot. Yes. So then we bought a burial have. plot soon after that. Yep. So uh, Diane wants to know what's the difference between strawberry and natural strawberry. Monk fruit. Natural strawberry is sweetened with monk fruit. The regular strawberry is sweetened with sucralose. 0 0.08 grams, okay? To put that into perspective, it's 1 64th of a nickel. Show them the toothpick. If you take a toothpick and you pick up a little bit with, oh, you can't even see that. That's because you gotta go in the dark background. Come over here, where you can see darkness. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my nose. Anyway, that's about what a 64th of a, I mean, with a point zero eight, it's insanely hard to measure. Okay. Anyway, that's how much sucralose there is in regular keto chow. Uh, with we want, I wanted to try messing around with monk fruit as a sweetener, um, but the flavor is very, very different. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work with all the flavors. It really lends itself well to fruity flavors like strawberry. Um, orange cream would probably work well also. The chocolate with monk fruit was absolutely terrible. Like it just wasn't awful. That good. Um, Chris, your toothbrush color, yeah. Um, because <laughs> yeah, you couldn't see it because your face is the same color. As oh, the I am a toothpick color. That's why I said you can't see it. Yeah. Well, now you can see it because <laughs> your face is red. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, grow up! Your twelve-year-old is showing. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we 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 kind of came out with the natural strawberry as a way to gauge um, the how much interest, what the market was for um, for monk fruit. Because people, a lot of people who don't actually understand artificial sweeteners, what sucralose really is, what the metabolic effects are, they just think, oh, well, it's an artificial sweetener, it's bad. Yeah. They don't know why, they just think it's bad. So they always, everybody was clamoring, we want one with monk fruit. So we gave them with, one with monk fruit. Doesn't taste the same. It doesn't taste quite as good. It's um, different. Yeah. Some people really, really like it. A lot of people will get it and go, what on earth were you thinking? It doesn't taste so, good. I think it tastes good. It just tastes different than it's the different. other strawberry. So, it's a little bit more t twangy like a strawberry. Yeah. That's why we put it it's, with a strawberry. It's also insanely expensive. Um, like, like Highly. really expensive. Highly. Um, uh, the natural strawberry with the monk fruit is by far the most expensive flavor that we have. It's actually it's even more expensive than the uh, taco, uh, tomato base, as far as the cost goes, in case you want to know. Yeah, I do that. Okay. I know things. Yes, yeah, she does. All right, so let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see, if you haven't tried a flavor, please get a sample of it. <laughs> We, we have, have people just buy a whole bag because they like the other ones and then they maybe don't like it. So if you're unsure, try a sample. Please. We, that's why we have the stamp, sample bundles so you can grab a bunch of different ones um, or you can uh, buy them individually. Uh, when we first came out with the savory flavors, the taco, tomato, basil, and the beef, we didn't have samples of those yet. 
and they're different. They're very different from the sweet flavors. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who they try it and they're like, this is absolutely amazing. Yep. And a lot of people they're like, um, this isn't keto chow. This is, yeah, it's totally, it's just totally weird. different. I think people, you know, can't wrap their head around a mm -hmm. meal replacement shake that's savory. Yeah. So we're kind of, yeah. But hey, you can make chaffles out of them. You if can. that's how you say it. But there are a lot of people who uh, who like tomato basil soup who don't like tomato basil keto chow. And there are other people who don't yeah. like tomato soup that think that the tomato basil keto chow is amazing. And Kathy Lucas says, I am the sample bundle queen. Yes, Kathy. I am oh, and Paula said queen. she convinced two people to get our uh, get the sample bag. Thanks. Oh, oh nice. That's awesome. Okay. Samples hey, are not. If you ever do a meetup again, we'll send you samples to pass out to people. We yep. do that all the time. Just give um, us a buzz. Okay. Oh yeah, and if you don't like it, you're not out of the money for a flavor you didn't enjoy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, if you're keto chow, so a lot of a lot of people in the Facebook support group, um, there are diff there are different versions of keto chow, and um, one of the versions, version 2.1.1, we changed one of the ingredients. We actually took an ingredient out, uh, which is um, sunflower lecithin. We took that out. It changes the way the keto chow mixes. So. If you're having problems mixing, uh, we have some solutions for you. I posted the link, but one of the things that you probably want to try is using warm water. Anymore, I always mix keto chow with warm water. Not like hot water. Yeah, it's not hot. We're talking not like lukewarm. Not like, but it's just hot. Hot. <laughs> Yeah. Do you, you know what lukewarm is? No, I just bungled that. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, do you know what the uh, interior temperature of a tauntaun is? Lukewarm. <laughs> Dang it. I hate it when I say that. <laughs> Punchline before the joke. I know. Um, anyway, so, yeah, use, like, just kind of tepid, like, warmish water. That, that actually does two things. Number one, well, actually, a whole bunch of other things. Um, try mixing up keto chow with butter. And if you're mixing it up with butter, you're going to be using melted butter. You're going to be using warmish, lukeish, lukewarm water, whatever. And you're probably going to be using a blender. And all three of those things right there solve all many. of the problems of mixing you will ever have. Um, and they do. They solve it individually because using warm water allows it to dissolve. Uh, using a blender allows it to dissolve, and using butter just tastes amazing. So, yeah, it's delicious. Um, but on that page with the, are you having issues with, you know, keto chow clumping? Um, it goes through a bunch of different things, but yeah, use warm water. And also, if you use warm water, um, it makes it so that you don't want to drink it right away. You want to stick it in the fridge, which, well, then there's that waiting period anyway. Um, we tell people, don't drink keto chow right away because it tastes kind of funny. It doesn't taste funny. It just tastes better later. It tastes like Flintstones vitamins. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. There's a new person here, Tony. Yeah, well, Tony, if you mix it up and drink it right away, you may not like the flavor. Or you Some may. people don't care. Some, Some people think it tastes really weird it's right when it's mixed really up. It's not really weird. It's just better later. But then you wait for 15 minutes and it tastes amazing. You let it sit overnight and it's really amazing. Um, anyhow, so yeah, where are we at? Teresa said she never heard of it either, okay. but now she said you can use it in chaffles. Here we are, Christy Davis making savory chaffles. Yeah. That's what's next on the list. We already we talked about, about that. We can talk about it again. So <laughs> yes, you can use in chocolates. Yes. We're so just let me grab this. let me grab Christie's post. I'm gonna post it again. Okay. <laughs> Joseph says it doesn't taste funny. See? Miriam's right. It just tastes better Joe's later. Right. You're wrong. <laughs> Don't tell people it tastes bad. I didn't say it, it tastes, tastes bad. Good. Yes, you did. It tastes good. It just tastes better it's later. A, it has a non-optimal taste. That's correct. 
It tastes better if you let it sit. And if you let it sit for like five days and you mixed it up with salted butter, it's really, really good. It's so good. <laughs> so, okay. So there's the, the recipe for chaffles using um, tomato basil soup as one of the, so the ingredients. Um, here's Christie's. That's Burnt what it looks um, for all of you in YouTube land, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. I'm gonna make egg sandwiches with the chaffles. Yeah, so next it's, week school starts, so we'll have them ready for the kiddos. So Christy used one of those really small waffle makers. Um, so do you have any of the products with you to show what you're talking about? There's a taco. The tomato basil's over on the counter. So it's a meal replacement shake. We have savory and we have sweet. You also flavors. have the sweet raspberry cheesecake yes. right there. Well, this doesn't actually show you. What, this is what it looks like. <laughs> That's powder. what it looks like. It's a powder. It's a powder with a scoop, <laughs> and you put it into a blender bottle and you mix it with fat. So you use and water. cream, one scoop. Ooh, smells delicious. Yeah. And, and so water. Did you say that already? Yeah. And it's really delicious. And it's great. And you put the fat in that you need for your body. So if I, if I'm a football or not football, a basketball player, and I'm six foot seven, I might wear a size 15 shoe, right? Well, this man who's not six foot seven, who wears a size 10 and a half shoe, 10 and a half wide, is, is not going to wear the same size shoe as this basketball player right here. Yeah. So we're all not going to have the same amount of fat. Yeah, and a lot of meal replacements will have powdered fat in them so that you can very conveniently just add water. But, Which is great, but you're not the same as this other person, and yeah. so you're going to need different amounts of fat. Yep. So that's why we don't have the fat couple, because then you can also use different kinds of fat. You can use heavy cream, you can use butter, you can use coconut oil, you can use, use avocado, avocado oil. oil. You can stick an avocado, an actual avocado, in the blender. If, if you're making the taco soup, mm. you can use bacon fat, you can use beef tallow, you can use duck fat. Joe, Joseph Stauffer of Two Crazy Ketos did his taco soup base with duck fat, which is crazy and sounds amazing. <laughs> We've never tasted duck fat. Yeah. I saw it at the store the other day. Yep. So. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do because the, the fat isn't um, coupled with it. And the idea with Keto Chow is it's designed to give you a third of all your daily nutrients. You, so you can use it for one meal and you won't be lacking in any nutrients for that meal. If you wanted to, you could use it for two meals. If you got dental surgery and you absolutely could not chew anything, mm -hmm. you could use Keto Chow for three meals a day and Oh, I did it for a hundred days. My neighbor just had a, ton a tonsillectomy. Oh yeah? And I brought over some shakes for her. She's only drinking shakes until she heals. It's been two weeks. Yep. Shane wants to know what's the best flavor with a whole avocado method. I've never personally it. done it. Uh, the guy <laughs> who did it was using it with chocolate. He was using some avocado oil and a, uh, and a half yeah, of an avocado. Yeah. But I'm sure a savory one would be delish. Yep. Mm. Yep. And yeah, so there's there's a lot that you can do with, with Keto Chow. But it's designed to be nutritionally complete. You can use it however you want. Yep. Um, it ends up being keto food that just happens to be a third of your daily nutrients in each one. Um, you don't have to worry about missing selenium. And we've been super picky about <laughs> what vitamins to put into it. Yeah. We, we actually had someone yesterday, it was kind of funny. Um, they wanted to know, are your vitamins synthetic? And the very nice customer support lady that we have, who does an amazing She's job, amazing. she sent the video that Miriam and I recorded uh, not too long ago about what kind of, um, about the quality of ingredients that we use in Keto Chow and how we, we put a really big emphasis in making sure that we have the highest quality stuff that we possibly can. The reason being that I use it for most of my food. And so it has to be the best stuff. We're using 
the forms of vitamins that humans use. So vitamin D3, vitamin K2, actually MK7 if you want to get technical, which I do, but um, let's see, ingredients. Ingredients. There we go. Let me grab this link. So, um, so she sent that to the person and the person said, why don't you just answer my question? Here's the the and well, the answer was in that video, um, and so I, I, I said to Jen, just tell her that all of our vitamins are synthetic because she's not going to be happy with anything you say. I'm sorry. They're sure they're synthetic. We we extract vitamin D3 from lanolin. That's a a synthesizing process. The vitamin K2 is made by a fungus that's specially bred to produce that. We take folate and we methylate it so that people with the MTHFR gene mutation will not suffer from folate deficiency. Folate deficiency. Uh, vitamin, vitamin B12 is folated as well. Um, all of the different vitamins that we use are the best version I can find mm -hmm. simply because I am selfish and want the best thing for me. So you all get to come along for the ride. Yep, um, and me. Yeah, and her. A lot of companies, they put an emphasis on getting the cheapest stuff that they can. Yep. And, well, we keep a very tight rein on the companies that do the manufacturing for us. Mm -hmm. We actually buy the vitamin mix and yeah. send it to we them. Send it to them. So that, and they have to use our stuff. And none of their other customers have access to it because mm -hmm. it's our ingredient. It's our stuff. Um, so... And then somebody says, so it's a shake, a uh, flour replacement, soup, sorry for so many questions. Um, it is a shake, keto chow is, uh, but Wait, it can also be used as chow? a, oh yeah, just, can you get, get can one, you out, of one out of the fridge? Um, so yeah, it is a shake. You can use it in a whole bunch of different recipes. We have like a hundred different recipes. Well, not a hundred, maybe 50. We have, we have a lot. lot. A vitamin D. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't the sun. So interestingly hey, enough, if you'd like, we will get the sun for you, Shane. Yeah. So vitamin D two, which is the version that you get from plants, is what your body takes and converts to vitamin D three when it's exposed to sunlight. One. That's a savory one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that Here's works. A savory one. What it's is it? Tomato. Fancily taped tomato. It's so labeled. This is what they look like, except usually they're not orange. That's what it's the like uh, chocolate. that's what the pumpkin spice caramel looks yeah, like. Yeah, the and doesn't the caramel doesn't have as many flecks in it. It also doesn't say tomato on it. Tomato in blue tape. <laughs> this is the fancy fancy. So that's we tomato. We have that, otherwise we'll take it out of the fridge and do that. Yeah, I put we'll yeah I put tomato on there. Take it out and make it sweet, and so then <laughs> it's not sweet. And you're like, Ooh. now the cool I thing want is this warm. So I mix this up on Sunday night um, With butter, in a big picture. Right? with butter the butter does not separate it just stays in suspension um, and then I stuck it in the fridge where it sits until it's time for me to heat it up in a big mug mm -hmm. uh, what did you used to do work-wise before keto chow Miriam was not gainfully employed mm -hmm. outside the home I stayed home with my kids because to say that a mother of two sets of twins does not work is frankly an insult. I just cleaned the same room over and over and over That's and true. over again. <laughs> so and she, I yeah. fed the people, and then I cleaned up after the people, and then I fed them again, and then I cleaned up after yep. the people, and we and played games sports. and toys and yep. sports and dance and soccer and yep. music lessons. I, on the other hand, Voice worked lessons. as a system administrator and systems engineer uh, my most recent job was a Salesforce.com administrator for a nonprofit. So I'm a computer guy. I'm an engineer, which is obviously why I got into human nutrition. Me too. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm a mom, <laughs> which is obviously why you got into nutrition. Yeah. I got into human nutrition because I'm excessively lazy, also known as I'm relentlessly optimizing. I was looking for something that I can mix up. He says he's lazy. He works his butt off. I could grab out of the fridge. It always bothers me when he says he's lazy. <laughs> well, I know. I want to do it the simplest and easiest way possible. You I work would, so hard. I would rather take an hour now to save 10 hours down the road. 
And this right here, this is 10 hours down the road. Actually, do you code your own website? Yes, and it shows. Um, I keep saying that I would like to fire the guy who made my website, but he keeps sitting, stealing my chair. What the so, heck? Um, we are working on that. I, I'd like to have... He's wife, too. He does. Um, sleeps with his boss. Yourself? No, you. <laughs> you. Half the time you say your boss is you, and half the no, time No, I always you say, say that you're my boss. You. <laughs> I'd rather backwards. take an hour now to save 10 minutes later. It's true. I would rather take an hour now to save 10 minutes later if it's going to happen over and over and over again. It's, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know what I'm interested in? What? Pretty things. Yes. Well, you're, you still have pretty nails. Yeah, still have pretty nails. Yep. They were, they're a week old. They're two weeks old. Oh my gosh. They're ready to be redone. <sighs> Whereas my nails just look the same. They look all boyish. It's true. Or a ring power unite. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got on long enough. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thanks for being nice to our kids. Jumping it's in the true. video here and there. Yep. So uh, join us. We're here every Tuesday at 7:30 Mountain Time. Um, also, oh, Miriam okay. has That's a very true. big problem with cookbooks. I think I'm going to get a cupboard for my cookbook, just like a separate one, because yeah. the cupboard that's too deep of cookbooks is too full. Yeah. Real time. Uh, Mike wants to know, are the little messages that come up when people buy real or a simulation? They are real. They are absolutely real. I actually, well, the, it, it keeps track of what people have bought and it, it looks back over the last like it should be a lot more, hour or so. I, um, I actually think I'm going to turn them off because they're yeah, a little bit annoying. That. They're kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, back in the day, we needed social proof and that's what they, they, they convey social proof. It's yeah, like, oh, say, other people oh, so are. So buy, bought this, so you want to buy it too, right? Yeah, but you know what? I'm just, I think I'm going to take them out. Somebody was complaining about the little pop-ups, and I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Teresa, you can DM us or anytime. We're happy to chat, chat yep. with you if you have any more questions. I'm sorry, we're kind of just playing on our Facebook Live. Talking yeah, to well, we went over an hour. That means I can't put this on uh, Instagram TV. Sad, panda. And let's edit it. It's okay, we'll put something else on Instagram TV. Chrissy says she's hooked on you both already. Oh, you're so nice. Hooked on phonics works for me. Wait. No. Chrissy was asking what our favorite flavor or something was, I think. Oh, our my flavor, flavor. My favorite flavor changes. Today. I really like the the root beer float made into keto chow ice cream. You know what's so funny? And I really like the banana made in into the keto chow. Into banana cream pie? Yes. Like well, no, the banana cream keto chow ice cream. And I really like the chocolate peanut butter made into keto chow ice cream. The coolest thing about keto chow is the fact that we've been making this for five years now, and I can drink a chocolate and take it away from my mouth and be like, oh, that is so yummy. <laughs> no, like, they, every, time, every time I'm like, oh, I really like root beer. Actually, this is the, really good. The target, the oh. target experience mm, so that good. I'm going for with all of the flavors is when you finish. The root beer float, yeah. You're sad that it's gone. That you go. Oh, I don't have another drink. You're trying to get the last drop out. That is the target experience. But we don't want you to, you know, you overeat either. We want you to. Eat. Yeah. Well, you put the right amount of fat in it, and you won't. But be satiated. Yeah. Yep. So, anyway, I've said goodbye like three times goodbye. now. So. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us. Everybody we'll see you again lovely next Tuesday week. Night. It's lovely Tuesday night. Lovely. And if you're in Canada, hey, we want to see you in Toronto. Yeah, we in will be in days. Toronto. So Friday on night. Friday. Yep. So, yeah. Thanks everybody for joining us. Oh, and said she'll bring her ice cream maker cool. to Omaha, and we can have some ice cream in January. What the what? <laughs> we should have hot chocolate. Heather, you're, in you're hilarious. You're adorable. <laughs> I want you to be my friend. All right. Okay. Well, thanks everybody, and we'll see you later. Bye. And live stream. And keto chow. It's more than a protein shake. <laughs> it's a complete meal. It's a complete meal. It's a complete meal.
Yeah, we're saying this for YouTube now. Because we already ended the live stream. More than a protein shake, it's a complete meal. Yep. So, because that's our, our little tagline that's on the website. Yeah. So, I guess I'll turn off the YouTube recording now. This is like a hidden secret thing. For all the people who are watching it on YouTube instead of on the Facebook. Yeah, it's like the end the outtakes. Can you do this? What the heck is your phone doing? It's like... You can't do this. Look at how cool. <laughs> okay, you can. <laughs> There's Sam's head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, YouTube. Bye. It's been fun. Goodbye. What's the worst part of doing keto? The meal prep. Come in, children. Wow. Don't worry. They're free range. Your body has two options when it comes to burning energy. Sugar or fat. Ooh. And Michelle Obama hates both of them. Keto is a high-fat, ultra-low-carb diet designed to get your body burning its own fat instead of burning sugar. It's not witchcraft. It's science. But it is as exhausting as it sounds, especially when you live in a house made of sugar and carbs. To prep new keto meals, you have to find a recipe. Fly to the store! Not find everything. Fly home! Order more ingredients online. Wait for the ingredients to arrive. Cook your meal. Take one bite. Immediately throw it into the garbage. Congratulations. You just spent one week making food you hate. What you really need is a quick, customizable, and easy keto meal replacement for when your other food options aren't ready. Introducing Keto Chow. It's the fully customizable meal replacement that makes keto easy. It doesn't matter if you're a wee witch or a noble knight. Oh, hello! <laughs> keto Chow makes it easy to get the right nutrition. Oh, thank you. Before Keto Chow, I never used to get attention from nights like this. It's delicious! <laughs> I have no interest in him. It's just nice to be wanted. That's an old picture. With the flick of a wand, Keto Chow takes just seconds to prepare. Simply add the fat of your choice. Oh, not you, Hansel. Add the fat of your choice, a scoop of Keto Chow, water, and shake. And one serving of Keto Chow has as low as a half gram of net carbs and gives you a third of your daily nutrients, including electrolytes, vitamins, protein, and more. Meaning, you don't have to weigh, measure, and track food and take like a crazy person. So if you feel like keto's been a curse but want magical results, click the link to order your Keto Chow Sampler Pack today. We'll even throw in free shipping and a free blender bottle. And if you don't absolutely love it, we'll get ya! A full refund. If you're thinking to yourself, which please, this can't be real, it is. Just trust the thousands of five-star reviews on Facebook, Amazon, and Google Shopping. Like this one. As someone who is not willing to weigh, measure, and track food intake, Keto Chow helped me reach my goals effortlessly and was keto losing 50 pounds in four months. Beverly J. And check out all these other satisfied customers. Do you have to have Keto Chow for every meal? No, I can still have all the other keto foods I love, like eggs, bacon, sausage, steak, gretel, cheese. So many, in fact, it's hard to keep track of them all. Where's your brother? He's in the water closet. I hope he's not even in the toilet. Just use Keto Chow when you want an easy meal you don't have to think about. Like when you're out and about. Look! Get her! Ah! Ah! She never her! Ah! Or when you're on the run. Keto Chow comes in 18 delicious flavors. And in a third-party blind taste test with five of the leading keto shakes, Keto Chow outperformed all of the competitors in appearance, flavor, texture, and overall impression. It's a buy. Oh, a little this way. A little more. Oh, close enough. It's even more delicious than the revenge body you get from using it. You hear that, wizard? Dang, she looks hot. You fool. So order your Keto Chow today and replace meal prep night with something way more fun. Not him. Can we burn this witch? How do you know she's actually a witch? Well, she's trying to eat our children. <laughs> well, look, it looks like her. <laughs> well, this looks nothing like her. They say a drawing adds 10 pounds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Head over to KetoChow.xyz to order your Keto Chow today.